Welcome to the top end of Australia, Darwin, a city in the Northern Territory, with an estimated population of 120,000 people. Darwin is a little outback town, and recently I discovered Darwin's best kept secret. Darwin happens to be the only place in Australia that as a tourist you can go and see tiger sharks. Meet Peter. Peter is a commercial fisherman who runs a fishing charter in Darwin. One day his customers hooked a shark, but before releasing it, everyone wanted their picture taken with it. Pete immediately thought, why not show them live sharks? And he decided to replicate South Australia's great white cage diving tourism industry and set up Darwin's only shark interaction. This is a very unique operation especially in Australia, the country that gave rise to the phrase, a good shark is a dead shark. A good example of just how unique this operation is, is Western Australia. A different story. A state where tourism with sharks like this is not only illegal, but the people are at war with sharks. In 2014, Western Australia made history by beginning an active hunt of protected sharks, placing baited drum lines along the coastline in an attempt to catch great white sharks and avenge attacks on surfers. During the entire time the drum lines were in place, they didn't catch a single great white, only tiger sharks, a species not responsible for an attack here in more than 80 years. Western Australia was the first place I ever saw tiger sharks in my own country's waters. Only they were dead. The shark cull has since ended, however when someone is attacked here, they still actively hunt great white sharks in the area, and to this day, shark tourism is illegal in Western Australia. Darwin is home to several deadly animals, and infamous for creatures like this one, the box jellyfish. It has rapid acting venom in its tentacles and can kill a person in less than five minutes. Hospitals in the Northern Territory report around 40 people a year with jellyfish stinks. This jellyfish alone prevents people from swimming at the beaches in Darwin. The other animal keeping us away from the beach is the much more respected predator, the crocodile, an animal known to aggressively take down large animals and even humans with its powerful jaws. Since 1971, Australia has witnessed 99 attacks on people by crocodiles, of which 27 were fatal. That's around 2.3 attacks on average per year, a statistic higher than the amount of deaths that occur from shark attacks. Yet crocodile tourism is strong, and Darwin makes huge profit from taking tourists to see these animals, with only a thin piece of metal between us and them. These crocodiles are also protected, and that's the thing about Darwin. People bow down to wildlife here and not destroy it at the first sign of a threat. Darwin is unique to the rest of Australia in its respect for nature. Yet you won't see beaches closed anywhere in Australia for sharks. Sharks are the only animal that we don't make exceptions for. Unlike jellyfish and crocodiles, no one says sharks are here, let's stay out of the water. We only ever respond with killing them. Someone has to die before a beach is closed. Our mentality towards sharks is so corrupt and ancient 
that we hunt them down to avenge our own species. Right now, this little half the year operating fishing charter is the only tourism in Australia surrounding tiger sharks and the only state accepting and embracing their dangerous animals. Peter grew up a commercial fisherman like his father, but believes his children may not follow his footsteps, instead taking over the shark tourism business. He highlights the sustainability of taking people to see sharks, knowing there's no threat of losing your income because of depletion. The rest of Australia needs to learn from Darwin, and perhaps the many shark fisheries that have collapsed and the many shark attacks occurring could benefit from a better understanding that sharks exist in our waters. And it's not only our job to coexist with them, it's our privilege. These tiger sharks in Darwin were the first tiger sharks I've seen in Australian waters that were alive. That is big, that one. Um, yeah.